Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a really long time. A uh, long story short, right at the beginning of the pandemic, my camera just crapped out on me and I didn't have enough money to fix it or buy a new one until pretty recently. So we're back and hopefully we will be on a good schedule again soon. So today's video, I wanted to talk about my low waste slash zero waste sustainable kitchen essentials. So, also, none of the things I'm going to show you are essential. You definitely don't have to have these things. And as another disclaimer, I am definitely not perfect. I am not 100% sustainable, zero waste, anything. I just do what I can and what my budget allows me to do and XYZ. Like, you can probably see in this shot right here that there's oranges that are in plastic and that's simply because when I went to the store yesterday, they didn't have any free oranges. I definitely have like the reusable produce bags and then reusable grocery bags on top of that, but it was a situation where I just couldn't use them. I'm definitely not claiming to be a perfect zero waste person. I am trying though. So I'm going to show you 10 different items that I have in my kitchen and I could talk forever about this because I definitely have more than 10, but these are probably my 10 favorites and then I have a couple things in there that I'm sure you've seen before, but don't know if it's worth getting or not, so I will tell you my opinion on them. First things first, pretty basic, I have wooden chopsticks. These are bamboo chopsticks. I got them from a local Asian market, and I prefer these for several reasons over the plastic ones, but mainly I feel like it's easier to pick things up with wood, especially if you're eating kind of like slippery noodles. Next, you've also seen these everywhere, and you can get them absolutely everywhere. This is a metal reusable straw and it comes with, well this one in particular came with, like a, a pipe cleaner doodad for cleaning it. Um, you can get these in metal, you can get them in glass. The reason I have them in metal is because I, I don't want to risk dropping it and having it shatter because I'm, I'm pretty clumsy. <laughs> Next I have this. This is a reusable napkin. Just a cloth napkin. You can get these in huge packs online from uh, most retailers. You can get them at like Walmart even. And I just have these at our dinner table and we use them to wipe your hands off, wipe your face off, anything like that. And you just chuck it in the laundry afterwards and you don't have to buy any single use napkins. All right, this is the sponge I use to wash my dishes. This thing is great. This is how it comes, like very thin and compressed. And I will have to like link below where I got this and I can't for the life of me remember the branding. But once you get it wet, it puffs up and it has like enough natural scrubbies on it and it does a really good job cleaning dishes. This is a, I think it was like bamboo bristles and the natural wood handle. This is a vegetable scrubber from the brand Natural Home. And I use this to clean potatoes or carrots or anything that would need a good scrubbing. And I wanted to talk about Tupperware for a second. I don't have any plastic Tupperware, but if you have plastic Tupperware, I'm not telling you to go throw it away. That's definitely not the answer. Uh, a lot of other YouTubers have talked about this, just using it until it absolutely cannot be used anymore and then when you have the opportunity to buy something new and hopefully a better sustainable material, then you can go out and get something like this. So all my Tupperware is glass and then the lid I have here is bamboo and then it's got a silicone ring around it and it fits right inside and it makes that like airtight sound when you put it on and it doesn't come off and this is from Ikea. And this next one is like free or it would be like something that you would buy anyway. So I store a lot of food and uh, bulk items in jars like this and this is like an old mustard jar from the Asian market so instead of like recycling it or throwing it away I just use it again for something else. So I've got a ton of mismatched odd jars like this that I store food in. Now for the definitely not necessary products. These are kind of like the glorified zero waste products that you see online and you want to know whether or not that they're like worth buying or worth having. So I have here some reusable chalk labels and it came with a little chalk pen and I will write the name of the product 
on something and stick it on a jar, like here, rice jar. These particular bagels said that they were dishwasher safe and sort of infinitely reusable, like I could unstick it, wipe the word rice off, and then put it on something else, and then write a new word on it. And I am unsure on the brand name. I will try to find it and link it below, but they were a gift. Okay, next I have Plan B Planet Organic Plant-Based Food Wraps. So these are equivalent to those beeswax food wraps, but they do not have beeswax in them because they are vegan. And essentially what you do is, this is the biggest one. It came in a pack of three, so three different sizes. So you have like your object, your like half an onion or half an apple or whatever you're trying to save in the fridge. And you put it inside and then you wrap the pieces around and they stick to themselves. This stuff is way better than I would have thought it was going to be. Um, after I wash it and go to use it again, it's still just as sticky and I put it around an avocado for like the ultimate test, like half an avocado, and it stayed like exactly the way I put it in there for two or three days, which kind of blew my mind. And the last thing I have is silicone Ziploc bags. So I have three or four sizes of this. I might have another one hiding somewhere. Basically, I use a big one like this to store like frozen bananas in my freezer, and they are safe in the freezer. They are not this particular brand of them, which is Sagra Plan. That is probably not even close how you're supposed to say it. You can't microwave it and you can't put it in the dishwasher, which is fine by me because that's not something that I need to do or has ever gotten in the way of something before. But yeah, essentially, instead of using a single-use plastic Ziploc bag, you put your food and whatnot in here and seal it and it's just as airtight and then you just wash it when you're done. And I like to like dry them upside down, sort of prop them open, drip dry like overnight, and then you can use them again. So those are my lower waste sustainable kitchen essentials. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and of course let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about or do a video about i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time bye